like I was saying, you can play this D chord all the way. But then there's also these tricks within this chord that are really cool. You hear it a lot. One, you can just take your middle finger off and let that high E ring out. You could also just strum the D the way you normally do and then But here's some really cool stuff, and another reason why I kind of said you could take your middle finger off is because we're going to use our middle finger to do pull-offs on the third fret of the D string. You see that? So as you saw, I did the, the pull-off on the A string, third fret. Another thing I was doing is hammer on pull offs on the third fret of the A and the third fret of the D, but with the open strings. And then finally, you've got that same technique on the third fret of this low, thick string. Usually I call it the E string, but it's tuned down to D now. It's actually our root, so we can get this.